this is going to be a different type of video than probably I would normally do. I don't know a lot about fragrance, aside from watching Amateur Hour on Scent Sunday with Lauren May Beauty. I have on display all of my old perfumes in the background of my videos, at least while I'm at home, because a lot of these scents have memories to me. I want to make sure that I can keep them and smell them and reminisce, so that's what I'm going to be doing today, so let's go ahead and get on into it. love this perfume oh my god it smells so good this is the Selena Gomez perfume and I'm going to spray it on here so I can reminisce it has I haven't used it up yet one because this is 10 years old and two I want to have it so I can smell it you know just just for moments like these this smells exactly like a lip gloss that I stole when I was like three years old. It was like raspberry scented. Oh my god, it's so good. The main accords are fruity, sweet, tropical, vanilla, and chocolate. I don't know where they're getting the chocolate from, but the fruity and sweet, definitely there. Tropical? No. I mean, like, it's kind of grounded so I can see where the vanilla and chocolate's coming from. But I, d I don't agree with that. So the top notes are pineapple, raspberry, peach, and orange. That raspberry is pretty strong, I'm not going to lie. Peach and orange. I can see that. I can see that. I mean, it is fruity in general, but that raspberry is very prominent. And then the middle notes are blackberry, freesia, musk. I can, I can smell the blackberry. It's a very fruity scent in the berry side rather than the citrus and the base notes are chocolate vanilla coconut and amber i feel like that amber is the thing that's grounding it the most i really don't pick up the vanilla and chocolate the my memories of this besides the time that i stole a gloss when i was three years old i don't even remember where i got it i just remember it wasn't mine i also remember my first relationship that's whenever i would wear that a lot <laughs> was when i went to go see him it's just funny to think of how naive I was. I freaking love this perfume. I would buy it again in a heartbeat. If you know any dupes for this, I would be so happy. It's nearly like 11, 12 years old. It's old. Okay, maybe 10. But it's a pretty old perfume. And even if I did buy it online, it's probably going to be expired. I have like very little left and I just keep it because I don't want to let it run out. The next one from Selena Gomez is the Viva More. I lost the top to the other one. They're different sizes. So you can see this one has a lot more. This is 100 ml and 3.4 ounces and this is 30 ml one ounce. And they look really cute together. I would say that I don't like this very much at all. And then main accords are sweet, ozonic, no idea what that is, aquatic, Fresh, vanilla, green, caramel, white floral, fruity, and powdery. That powdery needs to be higher up on the list, and the white floral as well. Oh my god, it's so strong. I asked my mom for another one of the Selena Gomez perfumes, and I meant the purple one, but she got me the white one, so I have two of these. <laughs> Which it's not bad. It's not a bad fragrance. It's just not my favorite. Sweet is not on top, in my opinion. Aquatic fresh and white floral and powdery which if you like that it's good but this perfume used to give me a headache whenever I wore it the top notes are melon and white tea I can yeah I can see the melon I wouldn't have picked it up if you told me the middle notes are arbum lily <laughs> yeah that lily is strong in this it's very much a white floral but like a sweeter white floral because some of them are just too much for me and then the base notes are vanilla and spun sugar I don't think it's as grounded as the purple one. I think they're both decent, but this one is definitely my favorite. I'm so sad you can't get it anymore. I really want to get this purple one again, but even if I did, it would be expired because it's very, very old. Which is the point of this video? Oh god, guys. Throwback. Throwback. So, this is the Justin Bieber Someday Perfume. I have the other one. I think it's Girlfriend. I don't remember where that is. I lost the topper for it, so I can't even use it anymore. And it's like 
almost halfway full. This was definitely not picked by Justin Bieber. For the main accords, it's fruity, sweet, vanilla, fresh, floral, powdery, musky, sour, and citrus. Okay, this is over 10 years old, so it's really expired, but I can pick up on that muskiness. And the fruity is also really strong. The top notes are red berries, pear, and mandarin. I can see the red berries. A little bit of the pear, not the mandarin. Then the middle notes are floral and jasmine. I really like jasmine. I think it's really pretty. I remember I was using a skincare kit with my friend when we were in second grade. Yeah, I remember that was when I decided I like jasmine. And then the base notes are vanilla and musk. I can see that muskiness, and I can see where the vanilla is coming from, but I can't pick it out exactly. Overall, it was a cute perfume. Like, I appreciate it for what it was. Obviously a cash grab. Obviously. Justin Bieber's not gonna wear this. It's more of the fantasy of you wearing it and Justin Bieber like, oh, you're just so cute. Are you wearing my perfume? And then you like die of excitement and then you marry him. Yeah, that's the 11 year old fantasy I had with this perfume. <laughs> But I really did like it, and I wore it from like elementary to middle school. I just keep the bottle because it's super cute, and it reminds me of just kind of like a a romantic time in my life, a daydream, fantasy. It it's a cute perfume. So this is Stella McCartney Pop. This is thirty ml one ounce, and I bought this. Did I buy this on that trip? No, I think I smelled it on that trip. Oh, wow. That brings me back to my freshman year of high school. I remember watching Kathleen Lights and she loved this perfume. Like, this was circa 2016. And I was in soccer season because we were playing a game and we went to the mall after so we could go eat. And we all went to a candy shop and of course I stopped in Sephora and Dillard's or something. And I smelled this perfume and I got a sample. And I really remember that day. Because I was like, yeah, I'm going to get this. Kathleen Lights said that she thinks it smells like a Barbie. Like a plastic Barbie. And I totally agree. But in the best way possible. The main accords are floral, tuberose, citrus, powdery, green, aromatic, tropical, white floral, woody, and spicy. The floral is definitely up there. And so is the powdery, but it's not overwhelming. And I would say aromatic I, I agree with that and the woody not so much spicy yeah I could totally see that the top notes are tomato leaf green mandarin and violet leaf that violet leaf is probably what stands out the most I have no idea what a tomato leaf smells like the middle notes are frangy panine tuberose and violet this is a very violet heavy perfume and the base notes are musk sandalwood and cedar I must admit I do like sandalwood I usually don't like woody scents because I'm allergic to them at least like pine scents so I try to avoid them overall my amateur nose really likes this perfume, and I agree that it does smell like Barbies. The next perfume I have is the Kate Spade Live Color Fully, and this bottle is 3.4 fluid ounces, 100 ml of the perfume. Oh my gosh, when I smelled this for the first time, I was like, this is the best perfume ever. Now, not so much, but I was obsessed with this perfume. Whenever I was in high school, I wore this like junior, senior year of high school. I loved this perfume. I thought it was the bomb.com. I thought it was amazing. And I do agree with it, but I w now I have a different approach to this because I was really depressed during that time, and so it kind of brings me back to that. It's a very floral-y scent, but in a good way. I wouldn't say it's like a powdery floral. Oh, there's definitely Lily in here. I wear one perfume until I use it up. I try not to keep a collection of perfumes, but I'd like to keep the bottles because I think they're really pretty. Although I really like this perfume, I don't think I would wear it again. The main accords are white floral, lactonic, sweet, coconut, floral and vanilla. Like I said, I can totally smell the white floral, but the sweet and the vanilla there really grounds it in my opinion. The top notes are water lily, I called it, I called it, mandarin, orange, and star anise. No idea what star anise smells like. I can pick up that orange a little bit, a little bit. The middle notes are gardenia, tiara flower, and coconut. I don't get the coconut, but I don't like coconut anyway, but that so that's fine. The gardenia, I do smell, and I really do like gardenia. And then the base notes are musk, vanilla, and amber. I can see where the amber is grounding it. I really can. I don't know about musk. 
I'm not into musky scents. I really do overall like this perfume. I don't think you can get any more because I remember I tried to rebuy it and I couldn't find it. But that's okay because I used up the whole bottle and I kind of wanted to move on to different perfumes because I tried to wear one perfume for stages in my life. The next perfume I wore my freshman year of college. I did not have a good freshman year of college. Obviously COVID hit to me. It was just not good. I bought this at a very low time in my life. Let me say what it is. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Garden Perfume. I got it in a Sephora sample set where you can redeem it. So I got perfumes for my friends and then I redeemed whichever one that I thought smelled the most like me. I got this at a pretty low point in my life so I don't know how I'm gonna react to smelling this. I remember I did like it but it wasn't necessarily my favorite. Oh wow that's strong. So the main accords are coconut floral vanilla sweet tropical almond lactonic nutty citrus and fruity. The coconut is there but it's not offensive. Usually I don't like coconut like at all. Floral yes I mean it's a garden perfume but I think that ba balance of vanilla and coconut really grounds it. I appreciate the almond accord. The top notes are magnolia, mandarin, and neroli. The magnolia I like. Surprisingly I'm liking a lot of these white florals but there are some white florals I'm like absolutely not. The mandarin no. Maybe I just can't smell mandarin. I have no idea what neroli smells like. The middle nuts are coconut, frangipan, and ling ling. Like I said, I can get that coconut. I don't think I can get the frangipani. The base nuts are vanilla absolute. No, almond milk. I can get the almond. And it's just like a grounding base milk, obviously. And I like sandalwood. Overall, I really do like this perfume. I didn't smell it because I gave the perfumes to my friends. I think I did a good job picking out what I liked from not even smelling it. I just associate this with a pretty low time in my life, so I don't think I could ever wear this again. You know, it's nice to reminisce on the nice memories of that time period in my life. But this is the Clean Classic Skin Perfume, and it does smell like skin whenever I wore it. Like, I used to get a lot of compliments on it. I wore this in 2020 in the fall when I was going back to school for the first time. No one had any idea what to do about COVID. We were all freaking out, but I kind of made a lot of good friendships during that period because it was more one-on-one -on -one and more time to really get to know people. So I do have fond memories of this time period. At first, it's very floral. But when you wear it on my skin chemistry, it's really not. For this one, the main accords are musky, floral, and powdery. Whenever you smell it, it is more flowery and powdery. But when you wear it, it's very musky, which I really like. The main fragrance notes are musk and flowers. It is kind of a basic perfume, but I really do think that it is complex in with the way you wear it and who wears it and how they wear it. I think it does last a long time from what I remember. I really did like this perfume. I might buy it again, but again, I like to wear different perfumes in different times in my life, and I have some samples. It's cruelty free. I don't know how many of these previously were cruelty free, but this is the first time that I explicitly tried to go buy a cruelty free perfume, and I really like it. The next one I don't have on me, but I wore the Juliet Has a Gun. I'm still like halfway through it. It is in my project pan, but that's in Austin because I want to use a different perfume. It's Lipstick Fever. Oh my god, it smells like lipstick. It's so good. And I was also having like a situationship at the time and it was really sweet. It was just a happy period in my life. And even though things ended, like I really do have fond memories of that time period and I made a good friend. I'm still going through that perfume and I hope I can make more memories with that one. The next perfume I have is Amazing Grace by Philosophy. My real name is Grace, so obviously I like the name. It's so strong. I remember I used to use the body wash when I was like 12. I got this as a gift, Christmas gift from my friend at the time. And she and I always talked beauty, but she was eight years older than me. So I kind of always looked up to her and her recommendations. My friend Rosie actually bought this for me for my birthday about two months ago. I'm currently at this point, I'm doing a project pan with it because I really do like it, but it 
gives me headaches. I just kind of want to work on the Juliet Has a Gun because I love that perfume. I have the Sol de Janeiro Gitterosa perfume. I really like that perfume and I'm so excited to wear it, but I want to go through the Juliet Has a Gun and the Philosophy first. So the main accords are floral, citrus, musky, white floral, powdery, rose, and spicy. It's a very, really strong floral, so you can't really smell anything else. I think I do like it on my skin chemistry. I think it is a lot softer on my skin, which I prefer because it's just, it's a pretty overpowering perfume in my opinion. I still like it, it's just, it gives me headaches. Uh, the top notes are bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin. The middle notes are freesia, jasmine, and rose. And the base note is musk. I don't remember what bergamot smells like. But from what I heard, yes. I like that jasmine note. I think that's what saves it for me. The musky base I do like as well. I, I do overall like this perfume for a floral perfume, but usually I don't like florals. I, I'm usually really picky about florals. I think this one is a good one if you do like florals. In Austin, I have the Juliet Has a Gun perfume, Lipstick Fever, and then I also have the Sol de Janeiro Curarosa perfume. And I don't have the perfume on me but I do have the hand cream and it's the same scent. It's a good hand cream in general if y'all just needed a, a good hand cream wrap. Uh, the main accords are vanilla, caramel, almond, sweet, nutty, woody, powdery, salty, fruity, and balsamic. The hand cream pulls a lot of the almond. It's just very much a vanilla perfume. Also appreciate the almond. I think it gives it a lot of depth and something interesting. The caramel, I think it just comes along with the territory of being sweet. And I like the nutty notes. So the top notes are pistachio and almond. Yeah, yeah. I could see those being the top notes. The pistachio is pretty strong, but I really like pistachio. I think it's really good. Then the middle notes are heliotrope and jasmine. And I, jasmine has been in a lot of these perfumes. And I, I really do like it. I think it gives it that depth. And then the base notes are caramel, vanilla, salt, and sandalwood. The salt also makes it pretty dynamic. I really like this perfume and scent. It also comes in the bum bum cream. So if you really like it, you can lather your whole body in it. It's just one that makes me really, really happy, and it, it's just exciting and fun. Oh, I bought it at the same time as I got the hand cream and the Light Slacker nail polish. I'm already paying shipping, so might as well try it, and I heard good things, and I really do like it. Alright, so overall, I really do like all of these perfumes. It really took me back smelling them all, and even when I'm at home... You know, it's just kind of cute, and I thought it would be a fun idea, so thank you for watching. This is me, I'm Gracie, and have a good day. Bye. Today has been a whirlwind. I tried to film this look. It didn't happen. My mama pod broke, and so I was filming because I thought I fixed it, and then it, like, it, it, it was just like one of those movies where it just all hell breaks loose. Topical? Oh my god, topical.